So we are back in Hafasni and uh, the last time I was here, I think in the comment session, I was alerted on some uh, places others wanted to see but I couldn't invest it so we are here for part 2 to explore Hafasini. So I think today we will be going to uh, where they buried, they buried the captain. Uh, Captain Williams also and also where the remains of the shipwreck is at the beach I heard something about that shipwreck but I think I'll ask around and see if there's any truth to it so let's go hello guys and welcome back to the channel so concerning the Bacana ship, I asked around and I was told it was a merchant ship that used to come to the coastal areas to trade. But due to bad weather, it came too close and got stuck in the sand and they couldn't go back. So the captain decided to live in the town that's a half in town and eventually died here. And that's where the captain was buried. So. That's the history I got. If you have any other version, you can let me know in the comment section. So that's actually the main road. Then you have this. So it's literally in the middle of the road. The main road is next. Okay. That's an inscription for the park. I'll be first moving in So right now we're heading towards the beach and we're at crossroads so uh, then that's the road that leads to the beach. So the beach over there and opposite that road actually leads back to where we saw the remains of Captain Williams. The captain of the red ship that's where i'm heading to right now so tag along let's explore oh here we are so we've actually found what we were looking for the remains of the ship uh I think the sea is a bit crazy today. Actually, since we go here, we have to walk there for 10. Oh. Okay, yeah. I have to feel the sand in between my toes. My toes. Hmm. So we've actually found where the ship rack is. So I'm going to give you guys a close up. Mostly during low tide, this will be further away than this. But today, today, you see how close it gets. Welcome to Half Asini. From the list of things, I have to do the good and what job is. You do that water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that okay? The tides 
a high so it's hard for you. The tanks were very low, would have gotten a good view of the whole rack. I don't know if you can really get a good perspective, but that's how big the ship was, and it's huge. Like, I don't know if the camera is doing justice. But it's very huge. Like very very huge. So I was told in the early 1980s, if you were to visit the site, you will see the full size of the ship, very huge. But as time went on, the sea worked on it. Part got rusted, holes were created, and also scrap delays also came to cut most parts of the ship when uh, it came down after the base was uh, rusted so that's how come it looks almost invisible now most parts of it was cut by scrap delays and the rest has also been buried in the sun so that's all that is left on the surface for you to see but it still looks huge and i think uh It's way bigger than I thought. Let me show you guys. It's way, way bigger than I actually thought. From this side. Here. And I don't know if I'll zoom in for you guys to see. Let me get it and I zoom in for you to see how big it is. I think most part, most of it is actually buried. Oh, okay. Whoosh. So. You see that? So from this side, most of it is buried. So from this side, let me zoom out. From this, I can't capture the whole thing. So from that side, so from that side, all the way here to this side, that's the remains of the ship. I think that's the front from the loose of it then I think there are some pieces over here that I'm trying to do. you see that? Is that part? the middle part is actually so the steam engine so this might be getting to the end of the ship then I so I don't know if I'm audible enough but behind me is the remains of the shipwreck. I think if the tides were low, if the tide was low, would have gotten a clearer picture of the wreck. But high tide. It's actually been cloudy since I got to have a snee. So always the sea is rough. The gravity, they bend, they bend, they bend. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm actually trying to find someone to ask how the ship landed here. I've heard stories myself, but Charlie, it's hard to believe. So huh. let me get it from the indigents, then you see how it goes. So the captains, 
who was buried, the captain was buried uh, in the middle of the road. This was his ship. And he died at the age of 40. Oh, there are crabs. Wow. And I'm standing here like that. Let me show you guys. Can you see them? Those are crabs. See them. They're all in trouble. They're running from the way. Oh, okay. So let's go and try and see if we can get some history behind this ship or wreck ship. All right. So I was lucky enough to meet Francis at the beach and he was kind enough to show me around and he told me this was Kwame Nkrumah's building and this building was actually built by Kwame Nkrumah. Not just this building, there was another building a little bit further away, you'll be seeing that later. So it was like a whole compound and he showed me a secret tunnel that led to Joey Wharf which used to be the border, like the border between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire, where people used to cross. So we ended up exploring these places. And he also showed me his boat. And if you check my previous video of Afasnin, you can see I was around that area when I came around. And the boat I actually sat in was still there. It's a damaged boat, so. And he showed me his new boat, so. I'll leave you to enjoy that also. Yeah. And if you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe. Please do. Why am I from my house? Yeah, house. That's very cool. But still, the foundation is strong. Very strong. They use good materials. See, they are tall guard, Francis. <laughs> Showing us around. This is the front of the house. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, but you have an underground bridge or a jewel. From here? Yeah. Let me show you. You get down for that side. Oh, okay. So, helicopter for who? Kwame and Kroma? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here, if you bought that from that side, ship side, you'll be uh, Which one is your, your boat? The one at the back? Yeah, this one, new one. Uh, oh, okay. oh sh So, how much will it cost to make a boat like this? How much? Yeah. Mm, actually, when you do that with the net, everything with album motor, you will spend like 1.3 penny. 130,000. Yeah, because album motor now for something. Oh, so, the helicopter will land here. 
let's go. Me I show you the other car. Check it. Yeah, the The station. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I can't tell you. Uh, let's go. Okay. Last time we come, <laughs> I can't climb these boats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't sit inside. This one. I'll make video for you. That boat. Mm, now some people they pull net yeah. for here. German machine. It's big old. They use a bomb. It's like a lot of the big, big house, they have abandoned it. Like this house. This house. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now in place, compound. So I told you, say compound. Come on, come on. Compound. Ah, uh -huh. hey, so this whole place might be on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. And that hole. You go deeper to Jewel. Oh, okay. Now, yes, one of the story. So now, have they closed it? No. But uh, actually, now you cross it. Navy immigration, the old man, they, they say some something happened. They could pass the from the that side, wow. the other side, the conga or the go like this. Mm. Yeah, we are mm. hey, deep. Oh. Mm. Deep. You know, she said it's big. Uh, where is it? That one will be half. Cast concrete yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. And that's the hope. So this brings us to the end of today's exploration. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you get a notification anytime I upload. I love you all and see you soon.